Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Alwyn here. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day as always. Couple stimulus updates today, so let's get right into it. So the stimulus bill has passed in the Senate as of this Saturday, after a voterama session that lasted for about 24 hours. In the stimulus bill, there are stimulus checks for $1,400. You will get also $1,400 for each child that you have and $1,400 also for adult dependents. If you make under $75,000 a year as a single person or $150,000 as a married couple, then you will receive the full amount of the stimulus check money. If you make over $80,000 as a single person or $160,000 combined as a married couple, then you will be disqualified from receiving the stimulus checks regardless of the number of children or the adult dependents you have. The federal unemployment benefits will be for $300 per week and this will be on top of any state benefits that you may have. The extension of state unemployment benefits and the benefits to the self-employed independent contractors and gig workers are also will also apply. The benefits will be extended until the end of September and the you know first $10,200 of benefits will be tax free. Thus, if you have already filed your 2020 tax returns, you will need to refile it with an amendment. In most situations, you will get a bigger refund and more money back. This does not, however, apply if your income is over $150,000. This modification will cost the stimulus bill $25 billion. You will receive $3,600 for each child you have under six years old and $3,000 for each child ages 16 to 17. The money will either be claimed on your tax returns or you will receive the, you know, this quantity of money broken up in, into a few essentially monthly payments. Further details of the delivery and administration of this program will soon be released. There will not be an increase in the minimum wage. Originally, they did include you know, $15, $15 minimum wage in the stimulus bill that was passed in the House of Representatives. However, the Senate parliamentarian ruled that the minimum wage increase was not allowed in the stimulus bill. The stimulus bill is passing as a special type of bill, a reconciliation bill as we've been going over. So there is a strict set of rules for what will qualify to go into the bill. The Senate parliamentarian said that this one does not qualify. The Democrats could have challenged this ruling. However, they chose not to. The Democrats are still saying that their top priority, this is one of their top priorities. So they will be trying to pass the minimum wage increase as a standalone bill now. There are approximately $350 billion for state and local government funding. And there will also be $195 billion going to states, $120 billion going to cities and counties, and $20 billion for tribes, and $4.5 billion going to U.S. territories. In the previous stimulus package, there was no state and local government funding in the second stimulus package. The states are saying that they desperately need the money in order to prevent from further layoffs to make up for the deficit spending. State and local governments have already laid off a total of 1.3 million workers since the start of the pandemic. There will be more money for small businesses. The PPP will receive an additional $7 billion for another round of loans. There will also be another $15 billion for EIDL loans. There is also $25 billion for bars and restaurant or the bar and restaurant industry to help them with payroll, rent, utilities, and inventory. The 15% increase to SNAP benefits will be extended until September instead of expiring in June. There will be $20 billion to help households cover back rent, rent assistance, utility bills, there will also be $10 billion to, to help homeowners in terms of paying off their mortgage, utilities, and property taxes. There will also be $5 billion dedicated to help people who are on the verge of being homeless. The eviction moratorium will be extended through September. There will be health insurance subsidies too. Schools K through 12 will be receiving $130 billion to help students and uh, faculty in order to return to school safely. Money will be spent to reduce class size, upgrade ventilation systems, help empty, you know, help essentially, you know, social distancing, and to also buy protective equipment for the schools. 20% of the money will be used to address the learning loss provided by providing essentially extended days or summer school.
there will be $40 billion allocated to colleges and $30 billion allocated to child care providers who can use the money on employees, equipment, rent, supplies, and you know, helping you know, struggling families to pay for child care. There will be $14 billion going towards vaccine research, development, distribution, and administration. $47.8 billion will go to testing and contact tracing. $7.7 billion will be used to hire over 100,000 public health care workers to help fight off the virus. Additionally, $20 billion will go towards a vaccination program. Any student loan forgiveness for the years of 2021 to 2025 will be tax exempt. There is nothing specifically given, however, to essential, essential workers. The House of Representatives passed the stimulus bill about a week ago. Next, it progressed to the Senate, where they made changes. Then the Senate voted on it and passed the, the modified stimulus bill today morning. Now the Senate needs to send the stimulus bill back to the House of Representatives because the House approved a different version of the bill and now must vote on the Senate version of the bill. Once the House votes and passes the stimulus bill, then it progresses to Biden for him to sign off. Once Biden signs off on the stimulus bill, it will become a part of law. After it is signed into law, then the first round of stimulus checks will be expected to go out within one week. The stimulus checks will, however, go out in waves as we've seen in the previous two stimulus checks. Some people may not receive their stimulus checks until weeks or even months later. The House is expected to come together on Monday and set up the vote and pass the bill midweek. Once it passes in the House, Biden is expected to sign off on it on the same day. So if it happens to get passed in the House midweek, you can expect the stimulus check money to hit your bank account on you know, essentially the earliest, most likely by March 16th or March 17th. However, some politicians are saying that they will get your, you know, the bill voted on and signed into law by March 14th. If Biden signs it off into law by March 14th, then the stimulus checks will be in your bank account, hopefully by March 19th. These dates are only for the first wave of stimulus checks. And like I said, they are subject to change. Hopefully you guys all learned something new and enjoyed the video. I thank you all so much for your continued support. Make sure to go down below and drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Turn on those post notifications so that we are aware of when I do upload my next video. Comment down below. Till next time. Peace.